Okay, what's up guys? So, Hot T has uploaded a video titled, James Charles is Stealing Designs, Trisha Paytas Exposed for This, TikTok is Banned in the U.S. Yeah, TikTok was acting weird earlier, and I was just all like, bro, so like, y'all like gonna shut down the app or like mess the app up, like, right when it's been announced that it's gonna get banned. I'm like, bro, why won't they just sell the app to like some company? I'm like, man, I'm like, it's... That's what I'm like, I don't know what's going on behind the doors or behind the scenes and stuff, but I'm like, yo, like, there are content creators, like, now it's just, a lot of them, it's just gonna be like Viners, they just gonna have to transition to uh, YouTube, and, uh, yeah, I guess, like, you know, be on TikTok for as long as possible and things, but overall, it's like, it's just, it's messed up that that's, uh, that's happened, so I'm definitely gonna get all the TikTok videos I can out of the way um you know and just for for my out of the country like out of the united states like everybody else and things uh you know y'all got some videos to look at and things but i don't know how long tiktok is gonna last in the u.s so eventually it might come to a point in time where it's just all that people just end up deleting the app and then just moving on and things but anyways uh yeah let's go ahead and get to this video if you guys haven't make sure you guys go subscribe to hot tea her second channel ray rahimi and her business channel build your pocket but that being said let's get into this video bro just like a quick full disclaimer screen. that all comments made in i swear this man this laptop just my own opinion it's like I, i'm like i'm just saying I, I just got it for it to be already acting slow or messing up i'm like bro it is way too early for that there's literally should be nothing wrong with it the situation this laptop came out in like april of this year anyone involved in this video Hey guys, welcome back to my channel where we expose people left and right. Today we're going to be talking about Trisha Paytas, of course. She's like a permanent feature on this channel. Logan Paul and James Charles' new scandal, who is also now apparently a permanent feature on this channel. Let's get into it. This first piece of news is unconfirmed and definitely alleged. An Instagram page named Spilling T839 posted this picture of a bruise on what seems to Dang. be Moses' arm. Moses, if you didn't know, is Ethan Klein's wife's brother, who has also been seeing Trisha for a while now. Now, this is just a picture of a bruise on some dude's arm and could be anybody, but comparing it to a selfie Moses posted on his Instagram account, the windows in the room look identical, so it could very well be him. But then the story about Trisha being the person doing that to him is still unconfirmed, so so yeah, no, basically you take everything you see on the internet with a grain of salt. The Instagram page also posted Dang. a bunch of like different random screenshots that might have been between Moses and her. But honestly, I try not to trust screenshots of text conversations. Yeah. Like it could be, be like anybody. There's no proof that this is actually Moses. So try not to rely on them too much. Plus, I can't find the Instagram page yeah, spilling. If, if uh if Trisha did that to him, I'm like, yo, that to whoever he had Moses, you gotta ditch ditch that relationship. I know it's like for some people they always I always hear like stories or cases where it's all like it's hard for them to leave, but I'm like, nah, seriously, give them like one good like punch in the face or something and just ditch the spot. Like well I'm not saying like Moses would do that to Trisha, but you know, like just ditch the spot. Like leave. I'm like I look, I'm like to whoever Whoever I get in a relationship with, I'm like, none of that abusive, like, mental, physical, I ain't putting up with that. So I'm all like, I dish the spot. I'm all like, you know, don't call me, don't talk to me, don't text me, don't whatever. I'm like, I don't want no association with you whatsoever. So, and, you know, you would think it would, but I, I know it's, like, hard for people and things. But I'm all like, look, if that person, if they doing that type of stuff to you, they obviously don't care about you and things. I've heard cases and situations where people have killed somebody because like you know they just that abuse like that power then got to their head and they didn't, like hit this person too hard or they done did something to them that was too much for them and that person ended up dying so i'm like i would rather see you alive in the next relationship or in yeah and then you know somebody that's going to treat you a lot better than for you to be in an abusive relationship so i encourage anybody that is in an abusive relationship like you gotta leave in the middle of the night during the day and they face behind their back do whatever you gotta do but don't be a part of no abusive relationship. T839 anymore. I don't know if they deleted their account or just changed their username. But yeah, that's that. Comment down below if you know what happened to them. 
But just a reminder that Trisha had posted a toxic relationship TikTok a while ago with Moses, where she pretty much admits to having forced Moses into having sex with her before. Put a finger down, toxic relationship edition. Put a finger down if they wouldn't let you hang out with the opposite sex. Put a finger down if they wouldn't let you like certain people's photos. Put a finger down. If She's like, it was just the same thing. I like from uh, the Jason, because what? Everything, yeah, that all that stuff were the two fingers that he put down. That was the same thing she did with uh, Jason. So, and then it was like, yeah, then I think it was in one of the vlog videos where uh, Jason said that she was she was doing something sexual to him while he was asleep. So, yeah, Trisha, she might be a pervert on the low. And if you didn't respond in five minutes, put a finger down if they ever got physical or threw something at you. Put a finger down if they ever forced you. Put Dang. a finger down if you gotta keep your location services on. Put a finger down if they threatened to kill themselves if you tried to break up with them. Wow. Put a finger down if they've called you names. Put a finger down if they called you overly sensitive but really they were just being mean. And lastly, put a finger down if they've ruined your life. But Dang. the TikTok is now deleted. Which, by yeah, the way, I would, speaking no, I of wouldn't be a part of that relationship. I wouldn't be a part of that relationship at all. I'm like, you need help. That's what you need. That's I'm all like, I don't know. Like, I know with situations like that where they're all like, they'll threaten to kill themselves if you leave the relationship. I'm like, look, I am not that important. Uh, that's why I'm like, I sit there and give them a motivational talk. I'm like, I am not that important. There is nothing special about me. I ain't no king. I'm not no god. I'm like, literally, I'm just a random person just like everybody else. You meet somebody else. And I'm like, as hard as it might seem, I'm like, you know, you just got to, uh, you know, like deal with that pain and then just move on eventually. But I'm like, yo, you shouldn't be like saying stuff like that. I'm like, that's, yeah. I'm like, this. that's just, yeah, it's a very toxic relationship if you carry on like that, so. TikTok, it seems like it's going to get banned from the U.S. app stores from Sunday along with WeChat. According to an article by the Financial Times, Oracle and ByteDance have submitted a proposal that would involve TikTok's global business being spun out into a separate U.S. company with an all-American board and a security committee headed by a person with U.S. government security clearances. The new company would initially be majority owned by ByteDance, but would look to list publicly in the U.S. Mr. Trump has raised concerns about continuing Chinese ownership of the app, while Marco Rubio, an influential Republican senator, and other lawmakers have complained that the deal would allow ByteDance to retain control of the algorithm that selects which videos to show each user. The removal of TikTok and WeChat from U.S. app stores implements two executive orders issued last month by Mr. Trump, which said U.S. companies would be barred from dealing with the apps from September 20th. The president later issued a third order that gave ByteDance until November 12th to divest its interest in TikTok in the U.S. TikTok would be shut down on that date in the event that ByteDance had not come up with a solution that satisfied the U.S. government. People mm. with TikTok on their phones will also still be able to have the app, but the experience will degrade without the software updates. And now hashtag TikTok ban is trending on Twitter, but most of the tweets have really just been jokes about how TikTokers yeah. now have to find actual jobs. In all seriousness <laughs> Wait, was, though, I jokes about how TikTokers now have to find like hey mom it's me tiktok got banned so we can't afford to live in the hype house anymore i'm sorry for you for saying that i didn't need you and i was on my grind anyways gotta come back home look wow that is a cap on all like well yeah any like hype house like members and things so dang that's best stuff Find actual <laughs> jobs in all seriousness though i do really actually feel bad for people who have been able to make a living off of tiktok but haven't been able to expand to other it's social like media. i haven't really it's been the majority of the people i had to say like i have like gained like some fans from tiktok but the majority of it has been people from like instagram or uh my friends from school or uh youtube like it's been that like you know like i i've literally there's like there's this like one big tiktoker he just recently followed me and stuff and i was like bro i was uh he's a pretty cool dude his name is like kyd mike i think that's i think that's his name he's a dancer and stuff but anyways um yeah i'm like man all these good things is happening to me i had like a whole thing going on on tiktok and things i'm like now nah, it's like bro like it ain't the same. I'm like, I just, you know, I, I guess, well, I know they got that one app bite and then freaking Instagram, they got like their real thing, which is literally just people reposting their TikToks on there. I'm like, I just, I don't understand like, you know, freaking apps or 
this whole TikTok ban thing. I'm like, it's just, I feel like that's just another like crazy thing to talk about if like 2020, if like, if my grandkids ask me like, hey, granddad, what was 2020 like? I'm like, okay, well, let me start off with the basics. TikTok got banned for what reason? I don't know, but if yeah, TikTok no, is a thing, yet. then Obviously, I know not. like the Addison Rays and the Charlie D'Amelios of TikTok are going to be just fine because they're killing it on all the other platforms. Exactly. But the smaller TikTokers who have been relying on TikTok for an income are going to really be the ones who are suffering. And then they just recently did like this like thing where it's like, I guess like uh, TikTokers can like make some sort of money off of the app. And now it's like, yeah, anybody in the US is like, it's done and over with for you, so... Moving on, Twitter was exploding yesterday because of all the news outlets reporting that Logan Paul is set to fight Floyd freaking Mayweather, who announced his retirement in 2017. However, TMZ is now reporting that while it is indeed a possibility, it isn't set in stone yet. Mayweather, Logan Paul is about to be a real thing. Are you ready for that heat, bro? Like, this is the GOAT. You know I can't say shit right now. In fact, TMZ claims that sources close to Floyd have said that he is leaning towards saying no right now. I guess now we know why Logan has been pushing back a potential wrestling match with Grayson Dolan. It's because he's had his eyes on an even more popular uh, yeah. opponent. So yeah, that's that. It's still unconfirmed. I think I, but- I think I said there is all like the paycheck for that is supposed to be like over a hundred and something million dollars. So I'm like, dang. For literally just like, and it's supposed, so it is supposed to be like an exhibition fight, but I don't even know. I'm like, but dang, like, make that, I was like, I would love to see that happen. Everybody, I was like, bro, I wasn't even arguing with people, because it's, it's, we all know what's going to happen. I'm like, but yeah, it was, yeah, but friends of mine, I was just like, I posted about it saying like, you know, Logan Paul and Floyd Mayweather are supposed to be boxing, but everybody was just commenting saying like, oh yeah, Logan Paul is getting destroyed. I'm like, dang, like. Y'all couldn't even cut the band some slack. Like, there's like a, a percentage. Like, I don't know what that percentage is, but yeah, you know, he could he could most likely get like a good punch on him. I don't know, but anyways, I was like, dang man, if he uh yeah, if this if this happens, I'm like, Logan Paul, he can lose. If he wins, I'm like, okay, well then that's it. I'm like, I'm just I'm done with everything. You mean to tell me this man has been fighting professionally for all these years have taken out greats he's went up against went up against conor mcgregor and that was like what one probably the biggest it was that in um pacquiao probably the biggest fights of floyd mayweather's life and he loses to a youtuber i would just i'm like nah at that point i'd just be like something i know i'd be like that fight was fake I uh, no, I would call fake on that fight. I'm like, no, or no, they they not fake cap. I'm like, that is not, I'm like, that's just like, that's major cap. I'm like, cause that's not normal. Floyd Mayweather's, Floyd Mayweather's been boxing all this time and he loses the Logan Paul. I was like, that's, I'm like, I would come up with every reason why on, um, why that had happened. I'm like, I, but I just, I don't know. It's likely, but at the same time, that, nah. You ain't, you ain't winning that, Logan. But you even well. if the match does happen, sportsbettingdime.com placed the odds heavily in favor of Floyd Mayweather yeah, over Logan course. Paul in the boxing match, giving of these course. odds as of September 17th, and saying that this has the honorable distinction of being the second most ridiculous fight <laughs> idea for Logan Paul that has been put out there into this <laughs> world. Which, I mean, it's not wrong. And our last piece of news yeah. for the day, James Charles is in yet another oh, yeah, scandal. For his, like, hoodie of course that he, he came is. Out with. It all started when James announced his new merch, which looks awfully close to Ella Klein's design from her Teddy Fresh line. So Ethan, Ella's husband, tweeted about it to James saying, I know we didn't invent color blocking, but I'm having a hard time on the new James Charles merch. It's the exact same design as Ela's. Combined with the fact that his audience is so huge, many people will assume he designed it and start accusing us of plagiarism. What do you think? James replies saying, When you DM'd me yesterday, I sent you the original photo that inspired my collection. Explained, I've never seen your my brand. My thing is, is like, I, it wouldn't be up for discussion. I'm like, if I realized that, like, if I just came out, because I've done that with, like, YouTube, when I'm, like, creating, when I, well, when I did create my YouTube channels, um, I always had looked out for like names and stuff because I'm like I wouldn't want like somebody to be like oh you blew up because of my name or whatever and things or I had to like change my name so that's why a lot of my YouTube channel names has like something to do with my name alone so I'm like okay I ain't gotta worry about that but I always check and so yeah if I would have seen or if he would have contacted me and been like yo like your hoodie matches with mine I'm like oh crap I'm like yo my, my fault and things but 
I, uh, yeah, like, I don't know, like, I guess I would try to, like, figure out a way to change it and things, but if it was literally, like, no other way to change it, I definitely would be, like, you know, like, I'll come out and would say, like, hey, so my hoodie is coming out, but it looks a lot similar to, uh, Ethan or H3H3 and things, so just letting y'all know, like, and especially if I had just, like, thought of the, like, colors and I didn't even realize, like, it was something that was already created, I'm just like, hey, look, like, um, his was already created first, so I was like, I wasn't trying to copy him, I didn't even realize it was a thing, but don't be contacting him or saying, like, oh, he's copying my style, like, his hoodie came out first, so, I'm just saying, like, I would give him, I would give him some sort of credit and, like, you know, let people know and things, like, hey, his came out first, so if you like his, buy his, if you like mine, buy mine, but there ain't no, like, copying, I'm not trying to copy or any of that stuff, like, I wish I could have taken it all back and came out with a different color scheme, but I see, like, a lot of, like, color schemes, like, well, not like that, where it's the exact same, but, like, where it has, like, a different color for the hoodie part, different colors for the sleeves, and then for the torso, but... Asked what you wanted yeah, me to do. just give credit. You didn't reply. After last year, I vowed to keep conversations private and create solutions, not drama. Like, Ethan replies uh, saying, I give you permission to share our you started some You drama. told me you were going to sell them anyway. You also admitted that the similarity wasn't a coincidence. I DM'd you because I wanted to keep this private, but I found your response combative and dismissive. Guys, I really want to believe James. I do. But it just looks too awfully yeah. similar to Ela's design yeah. until I saw around 50 other brands selling the exact same top. But Ethan does say it's the fact that it's the same exact colors and placement. It's almost identical. Otherwise, I would never Logan Paul, mention cause it. It's funny how it's like Logan Paul was mentioned in this video. That same thing happened to him with his like Maverick clothing. He came out with uh, some like shirt or something that looked exactly like this like other clothing brand. And he got called out for it. And it's like, yeah, you know, you won't even see that uh, Maverick like clothing being sold anymore unless it's like on some reselling site. But yeah, it's, uh, you know, they um, that happens. Ela herself also tweeted, I guess I might as well share some behind the scenes. This is my first sketch of the color block hoodie from 2017 before we had a logo for Teddy one. Fresh. That, that I mean, the nice. other pick is the pink. I know they sell this, this stuff at Zoomies. Work on our they, color if I ever do see it at Zoomies, I'm also a, pointed I'm a out one. this old tweet by James where he said, There are only so many colors you can put into an eyeshadow palette, and I'm not claiming to own specific colors, but when you copy the exact shades and layout from my palette without even trying to hide it, which, yeah, I mean, that is kind of sketchy because he was accusing other people of copying his palette but now he's doing the exact same thing to Ela Klein's designs I don't know kind of sketchy let me know in the comments down below what you guys think I'm really curious yeah, to know just Please give sure credit give a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching and subscribe to my channel I post new videos three times a week all right bye yeah I'm like my thing is like because I see that's what I'm all like I ain't got to worry because I'm like I would uh I overall would just come out with something with my name on it and just basic so it's like something like this like a basic black hoodie and things there I wish somebody would try to comment and be like oh you're copying my style I'm like a basic black hoodie do you realize how many people are copying your style like you can't even claim a basic black hoodie so that's what I'm like I just come out with some basic stuff but like color schemes and all of that it definitely would have to be like something of my own like I had to like create a team and be like okay do as much research as you can to make sure something like this doesn't already exist if it does let me know I will change it and you know come out with something else but anyways yeah my, but my thing is though it's like if uh if you had already had knew of this and I, it wouldn't even have been like no private conversation none of that I just been like I told people like I said like look um, so when I create these hoodies, I didn't realize another one had already been made from H3H3. So I apologize. That's, you know, that's my bad. That's my fault, you know. And, uh, yeah, if it's, you know, so I'm like, but I wasn't trying to copy him. Like, it was just something that just came to mind. And I really did like that idea and stuff. So, yeah, but I'm like, I just, I don't know. I'm like, I just, I feel like that that is too similar. And then plus they're going back and forth in tweets and things. I'm like, I, I don't know. I definitely, yeah, i just been like, you know, like, I apologize. Like, if you guys like his hoodie more, go buy it, go support it, share it, do whatever you can and stuff. But if you guys like, you know, I'm just saying, like, it's identical, like, hoodies and stuff. I would acknowledge it at least so. But anyways, I will talk to you guys later. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Uh, make sure you guys go subscribe to Hot Tea, her second channel, Ray Remy, and her third channel, Build Your um, Pocket. Like, subscribe to me too, and I will talk to you guys later. Thank you guys for watching, and peace.